Without further ado, we'll launch straight to our first speaker. Uh, please welcome uh, Andrea Marcassani, whose intervention tonight is in his capacity with the Order of Malta as an advisor to the Foreign Affairs Department of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. Andrea, over to you. Uh, so, uh, as you as you as you use as you say it, uh, we what we see and what is happening, and uh, and what is happening with the COVID crisis that exacerbated the all this huge war that is the internet and uh, the migrants and refugee section of the OLC a few years ago published the pastoral orientations to uh, on human trafficking in after a process of listening to local churches and to catholic organizations and partners on on this specific issue and uh, would my it, uh, it would be my pleasure tonight to transfer these pastoral orientations on general human trafficking, on the human trafficking uh, in the digital world, in the in, and the role of the of technology. Uh, so I would like to start to to quote the Pope in the last in his last encyclical, uh, Fratelli Tutti. At the point 24, he mentioned clearly the using of modern means of communication to lure young men, men and women. Uh, in the human in uh, the human trafficking networks, and uh, he, he calls for a global effort to eradicate human trafficking. So, but um, after this intervention in the Fratelli Tutti in 2002, John Paul II uh, individuated three uh, the the problems coming up with the globalization and the trade related to the trade in human beings. And we can say that the three M's of globalization, market, media, and migrations are the perfect, uh, is the perfect, um, they form the perfect macro context for human trafficking because the uh, human trafficking evolved in a different way in these three channels. So, uh, we can say, as we know, that uh, the virtual territory is a problematic to be controlled by uh, by security, by police, by uh, the states, because it's a huge war, and uh, we can say that only one percent of internet is uh, in this. Uh, there, are, there is the Google is uh, control just one percent of the of what we can find on internet. Uh, so these are what Don Fortunato called the the, the digital peripheries, peripheries, and uh, Pope. These are the same peripheries, the existential peripheries. The Pope Francis invite the Church to live in and to save and to help people in. So uh, passing to the uh, pastoral orientation, uh, we divide in the work that the section, the only, the only section, uh, the only C uh, section for migrants and refugees prepare. The first, uh, the first uh, chapters was about uh, understanding the human trafficking causes, and so the commodification and exploitation, the demand aspect. And so if in the human trafficking, generally, we have a commodification and the person became a, a commodity, an, ob an object, in human trafficking in the digital peripheries, we have a, a next level commodification. So, um, and the human person, not just an object, but become an amount of the, becomes an amount of data, videos and picture, which are transferable and the virtual abuse can be perpetrated an exponential number of times in different places on earth. So not just once, but the dignity of the human being is violated several times, this, the same dignity. And this what was maybe is, was it is, uh, Martin Heidegger defined the essence of technology. So, the old distances in time and space are shrinking and technology change uh, the borders and allow 
the 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 man to become an amount of data and to ma to be manipulated many times and uh, we can uh, link to this what the pope uh, called the widespread of growing digital narcissism in his uh, message for the world youth day in 2020 so the it, this is at the next level an exacerbation of the reality of nature and things and person because technologies create the means and we are not uh, even we are not even uh, we are not in control of this so uh, after the demand the, the second uh, part of this first uh, ch chapter of the past orientation is the, uh, the demand aspect and the demand is not so far from us uh, is, is in our house homes houses uh, in our families because technologies are invasive, they enter in our in our lives, and we see human trafficking without seeing it. So acknowledging human trafficking, there is like a blanket of fog hiding the phenomenon, but at the same time is in plain sight because uh, every time that we enter in uh, on internet and we go I don't know on Instagram on other social networks, we can. We can see human trafficking without seeing it, because uh, these are all channels used to lure people. In Italy, was was uh, in the last years there there were many cases of luring on Facebook, on Instagram, on on other uh, on other social networks, and cyber trafficking uh, for, uh, target mainly people in that uh, their experiences. Uh, different difficult uh, difficult times or they are the most vulnerable like children or that are excluded or ne neglected or they don't have any friends and uh, f uh, this use of facebook and social network were used also in uh, in the uh, for in migration uh, issues for instance scotland yard discovered that uh, they found 539 pages on Facebook offering uh, offering uh, s safe, not so safe, routes to Europe with discounts for minors, and this is for migrants. So uh, another strategy util uh, used on uh, social networks, people, uh, traffickers identify the victims, Add friends in common, gain trust, and after always they 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 target these most vulnerable people. Another chapter could be uh, could be that is very near, that is in our homes, that is around us uh, is the pornography. Pornography uh, there is a normal a normalization, a cultural normalization of pornography, but in, in pornography. The position of the Catholic Church that is already human trafficking, even without coercion, because it damaged and destroyed the, the dignity of human being that became, that becomes a mere object of pleasure for others, for third parties, for many times. And, um, and also in this world, the most search a term on these uh, pornography portraits are always are usually youth and teens categories and in that in that case we have human trafficking as well for for international protocols not only for a catholic church and um, and many times the, the borders between pornography and, uh, and coercion and prostitution are very thin there are many cases Expose of uh, pornography industries and producers that they coerce their actors to be to be to to be prostitutes as well. So uh, the 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 sexual uh, searches on internet four millions four millions of these uh, web searches if, uh, look for youth categories. To be to keep in mind, but also adults can be lured in lure in this world, and is very difficult to 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 escape this. So um, for the, the 
the dynamics, this is the second. I, I will not talk about dark web and deep web because they are very big words and I, I think maybe Don Fortunato later will, will, uh, will focus more on, on this. Um, but this is a, a huge world of, of, uh, websites, of spaces and, uh, sharing file platforms where are not even control checked and they can not be supervised by police force, maybe from, from stakeholders, web stakeholder, yes, but it's very difficult. So, uh, about the, uh, the, the dynamics, the, the dynamics, uh, and, uh, there is, uh, uh, there is a problem. This opens the sensitive issue of web and IT companies responsibility because the, the internet world is so connected, is of course connected, is internet and, uh, but the, 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 the business, uh, it, it measure on, uh, likability, if I can use this word, on, uh, on how, how, how many times people visualize uh, and watch, uh, content. And, uh, the, the profit, uh, bo- uh buggles the mind and the, the profit increase, m- m- increase, uh, as more people watch something. So uh, there is no interest for, for, for providers to, uh, eradicate. I, I try to, I don't want to be sensationalist to eradicate and to, to eliminate the contents. Uh, otherwise, uh, and after there is another thing, there is the trade off between privacy and control. And this is another, uh, uh, another controversial issue and, uh, Algorithms. We saw that algorithms many times eat and ban illicit, act- illicit activities while searching for illicit activities. We we can see that as well in the in the in the normal life of social networks. So uh, another uh, we can say <coughs> that uh, the the all the profits. Be, be, should be should be asked for accountability for and supervision of of contents. Uh, I would like to to for a, for a while uh, to to focus as well on migrants uh, on migrants and technology. So uh, human trafficking is is a play. Migrants entering human trafficking because there are offers of fake jobs, uh, safe purchases on migratory routes. And the problem is to, di- to track, it's very difficult to track money, the circulate, to track money circulation because there are system of, uh, of uh, circulating money without any control on the internet. What, what we can do, because the last chapter of the pastoral orientation is responding to human trafficking. And, uh, the first is education and parental control, I would say, and culture, culture against this self-serving narcissism and this uh, primacy given only to, to technology on appearance uh, and case for image that we can see today in the, in the, on internet. And uh, the role, uh, in, ed- in educational parental control, of course, is to parents. And I think that, uh, we have to raise awareness on the role and, and the dangers of technologies for, for just children having a smartphone that uh, a trafficker uh, could, could easily enter in. Another, and this I want to be sensationalist, is the problem of pornography and, uh, the, as a Catholic, as a, as, as a special advisor of the Order of Malta and of the, of the Holy See, I would call for block and pornography providers and website. Uh, because there is no control and many times, uh, it was discovered that people were on, on this displays, were, uh, display on, 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 in video without their willing and providers they didn't uh, they didn't delete 
the, the, these contents. And the third thing is to call for web giants responsibility and accountability. This is very difficult and <laughs> I, I, I cannot go farther in this, in this, in this, uh, in this uh, issue because it, it goes very far. And uh, another another initiative could be partnership platforms and to to track human trafficking uh, to use the same technology to track human trafficking. But here we can open a, a pro another problem, another dilemma that is the is a, the nature of technology, information technology. If you have powerful or uh, means and the traffickers have powerful means because what we are observing, what we are monitoring that traffickers and criminal networks organization are using are becoming very skilled in the use of uh, information technology uh, to create platforms and partnership to, to, to track human trafficking could be end up in in creating an open market that they can breach an open market of victims uh, for retaliation or for other or for new abuses because uh, what the governments around the world are experiencing is our security breach in their uh, in their net in their internet uh, in the in, in their internet uh, securities uh, networks and uh, architectures structures so uh, the the catholic church uh, of course will will support technological and legal cooperation but uh, we have to be very careful and, uh, and is still a no man's land, the, the creation of, of, uh, of uh, technological platforms uh, to, to create database and uh, to use the information you say before from satellites it, because uh, it's very difficult to guarantee, to guarantee the security of, of these, of these platforms and uh, technology is evolving. So I would like to articulate, uh, finally, the, on, the attention on three words, care, knowledge, and culture. So, uh, the care, the care that, uh, we should, have, we should have for our, uh, our, our younger, uh, for, for the younger in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, helping them in, uh, in uh, support them in not leaving them alone in the t in the technology world the knowledge to understand what how these are these uh, means these technological means are evolving and culture and because both in raising awareness and both with in the schools in the with the always with the youngest to to avoid and to 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 help them to 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 escape these 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 dangers that are for everyone is on the way on the web. Uh, so not to mention that the Pope uh, remembers the the easiness of being part of the supply chain uh, on internet because we do, we 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 could easily we be a part without even even noticing. And uh, lastly, I would I would like to 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 suggest that the all these technologies or these uh, new contents, uh, pornography, social network, they have a profound impact on the thinking and behavior of children. And uh, those that I mentioned are the the action that should be support. Even is very difficult to do that. Thank you. Our technology is keeping up. Many thanks, Andrea. You're absolutely right. The replication of abuse using technology to double down on the abuse of minors and others in vulnerable situations is a clear and present danger to us all.